Chief Medical Officer Dr. Roshan Parasram is investigating a breach of patient confidentiality relating to the first death of a COVID-19 patient in Trinidad and Tobago. A document containing the name of the patient, his address and other confidential medical information began circulating on social media on Wednesday night. According to Dr. Parasram, those details should not be in the public domain. So first of all, the information that you have, you should not, should not have had in the first place. The information you got is circulating from someone's private notes that was sent out through Facebook. It's a breach in patient confidentiality. I have already spoken to the CEO to find out how that breach occurred. It should not be out in the public domain. According to information in the public domain, the patient came into the country in February but did not present any symptoms until mid-March. The case was categorized as imported, although the incubation period surpassed 14 days. The CMO says the attending doctors make the determination, which is then generated by the labs. He says, however, there are outliers in every viral illness. D is a new virus. All of us are working with 14 days. We are hoping to God that it is right. There has been shown viremic patients up to 42 days in the research. Um, some as far as beyond 42 days, documented 21 days. So there are outliers in any viral illness. Meanwhile, the CMO is also defending the government's decision to not immediately release information about the COVID-19 related death. When this occurred, we would have taken all the necessary steps to communicate with the family. Some of the relatives are abroad, and I don't want to say too much about it um, to let out information. So it, it takes us a, a significant length of time to not only reach out to them. They have to receive the information. We have to be counseled. They also have to bring in certain vital pieces of information to us to confirm the debt, for instance, identification, etc.